Sorry I cannot be with you today. I want to begin with a huge thank you to those of you in this room and to governors, trustees and governance professionals up and down the country. Ensuring strong governance right across our school system is one of my top priorities. It is essential for creating the conditions for financial stability and educational success. I know that governing can be a demanding and time-consuming role. So the role of the governance professional is vital for ensuring that the governing body operates effectively and meets its statutory obligations. I want to be very clear that governance professionals are the cornerstone of effective governance. They are vital. The role of governance professionals is not only about good and effective organisation and administration, but also, and more importantly, about helping the board understand its role, functions and legal duties. You have an important role in supporting the chair to enable and facilitate strategic debate and decision making. This is crucial in helping the board exercise its functions expediently and confidently so that it can stay focused on its core functions. As such, they should work directly to the chair. As a result, we want to see governance professionals recognised for the important role that we expect from them, as set, at, as set out in the Clarking Competency Framework published in 2017. We want others to have high expectations of them. Being a governance professional should not be an unpaid add-on to someone's existing job. We would encourage all schools, trusts and local authorities to think carefully about the level of professional input that their board requires from a governance professional. They need to ensure that they are investing proportionally in this important role and employing someone with suitable skills, training and knowledge. I know it can be difficult to find high quality governance professionals to support boards. Ofsted has found that the role of Clark is pivotal to improving the effectiveness of governing bodies' work. It enables governors to come to meetings with pertinent questions and thus provide constructive challenge. It is clear that in supporting high performing and effective school governance we must, as part of that vision, provide development to enable highly effective clerking. This is why we are investing in our clerking development programme to professionalise the quality of clerking support available to governing bodies. As of the 28th of January of this year, 1,324 clerks have been authorised for the development programme. The department recognises the important role of the governance professional and the impact school and academy clerks can have in supporting the board. I'm very grateful for your dedication and helping to make our schools run effectively. I'm committed to working with the NGA and our other training partners to help governance professionals access the training they need.